Hey guys, I'm John. Today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Plug and Play Fan Shroud Kit for the 2013 Plus Subaru BRZ, Scion FRS, and Toyota GT86. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive Mishimoto content. Now is also a great time to upgrade to a Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator or Silicone Coolant Hose Kit. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include 10 and 12 millimeter sockets, quarter drive six inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, 12 millimeter ratchet wrench, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. Install time is about an hour and a half and install difficulty is a three out of five. Remove the three 10 mm bolts holding your intake box to your BRZ or FRS. Remove the mass airflow clip from your air box. Loosen the one 10 mm clamp holding the intake hose to the intake box. Using your flathead screwdriver, remove the tree clip holding the mass airflow housing to the air box. Detach the intake hose from the air box. Now you're ready to fully remove the air box from your BRZ or FRS. Remove the five 10 mm bolts holding the top upper trim piece on the front bumper of your BRZ or FRS. Then, using your flathead screwdriver, remove the two pop clips on the top upper molding of your front bumper. Now you're able to fully remove the upper molding on your front bumper. Go ahead and raise your BRZ or FRS up with either a lift or a jack and jack stands. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, Remove the four Phillips head pop clips from the inner wheel well of your driver and passenger side front bumper. Using your flathead screwdriver, remove the remaining pop clip behind the inner wheel well molding. There is one pop clip on each inner wheel well behind the indicator marker light. You have to pop the side marker out before removing that last pop clip by pulling forward and then out. There is a small clip behind it that will have to be released before removing the front bumper. Once the marker comes out, disconnect it and set it aside. Then you can remove the last pop clip. Do this for both sides. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the 10 pop clips holding the splash shield from underneath your BRZ or FRS. Then, remove the two 10 mm bolts holding the splash shield to the front bumper. Now you're ready to fully remove your front bumper. Hold the corner of the bumper and pull outwards. It might help to have a friend to help you remove the front bumper. When removing the front bumper, don't forget to unclip the fog lights before fully removing the bumper. If you have a 10th anniversary Scion FRS, make sure to unclip the electrical connections for the front emblem. Fully remove the front bumper. Now let's remove the air snorkel. There are two 10 mm bolts holding it in place. Remove the two pop clips holding the plastic air diversion panel to the support bar. Use your flathead screwdriver. Remove the four 12 mm bolts on the support bar that hold it in place. Next, remove the two 12 mm reaming bolts located at the bottom of your support bar. Go ahead and wiggle your support bar free, but don't fully remove it. Remove your overflow reservoir hose from your tank. Go ahead and remove the overflow reservoir tank. There are two 10 mm bolts holding it in place. Next, we want to unclip each electrical connection for your stock fan shroud. There are two electrical connections total, one for either fan. Push the tab in the center to disconnect the connection. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the two tree clips holding the electrical wire loom harness to the stock fan shroud. Now let's remove the stock fan shroud. There is a clip on either side of your fan shroud. To release the clips, you squeeze the clips and pull outward. Now, remove the fan shroud completely from your BRZ or FRS. Lift up on your radiator support as shown here, and then lift your fan shroud up and out. Let's begin to prep your brand new Mishimoto fan shroud. Take the provided plate and attach it to the fan shroud as shown here, using the two Mishimoto provided M6 bolts with 10 mm socket head. Next. Take the smaller dowel rod and attach it to the furthest from the corner hole. Use the one Mishimoto provided M6 bolt with the 10 mm socket. Then, take the bigger dowel rod and attach it to the corner hole using the one provided M6 bolt with 10 mm socket. 
Now install your overflow tank. This is mainly to make sure that everything is lined up properly before we install it in the car. Tighten the bolts that hold the plate and dowels to the fan shroud once everything is lined up properly. Then, remove the overflow tank. Now we're ready to install your Mishimoto fan shroud. Be sure to line up the tabs on the fan shroud to the tabs on your BRZ or FRS for a more secure fit. Go ahead and clip the square pieces back into place. Then, connect the fan plugs back into their electrical connections. Take the two Mishimoto provided tree clip zip ties and attach them to the fan shroud by pushing them into the holes on the bottom of the fan shroud. Install your overflow tank onto your fan shroud using the two 10mm bolts. Reinstall your overflow hose. Reinstall your radiator support back into place and make sure everything is lined up. Be sure that the two plastic circular tabs are on the outside of the radiator support before fully installing it into place. Go ahead and tighten down the six 12mm bolts for the radiator support. Install those two pop clips back onto the air diversion panel located on the radiator support. Reinstall the snorkel back to the radiator support bar using the two 10mm bolts you removed earlier. This would be a great time to reinstall your airbox and snorkel so you can test your fans before fully finishing up the install. Next, reinstall your airbox. Reattach the intake hose to your stock airbox. Be sure to line up the snorkel to the airbox. Go ahead and tighten down your stock airbox using the three 10mm bolts you removed earlier. Using a 10mm socket, tighten down the clamp connecting the intake hose to the airbox. Reconnect your mass airflow clip back in. This would be a good time to make sure that your fan is operating properly. Reinstall your front bumper. Don't forget to plug in your fog lights along with the emblem if that applies to you. Be sure that your splash shield panel is tucked underneath the front bumper panel. Then, feed the side marker electrical connection up through the panel hole. Next, snap everything back into place. Then, install the two 10mm bolts holding the splash shield in place. Then, install the 10 pop clips holding the front bumper and splash shield in place. Reinstall the pop clip back into the side marker hole. There is one pop clip for either side. Then, reconnect the side marker electrical connection. Don't forget to do this on both sides. Slide and pop the side marker lights into place. Then, reinstall the remaining four pop clips. Reinstall the upper trim piece for the front bumper. There are two pop clips and five 10 millimeter bolts. Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto fan shroud kit, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and take your BRZ, FRS, or GT86 for a test drive. Also, don't forget to click subscribe.